1949. Every safe in the city of Boston was flush with post-war prosperity. And every cracker in town was looking to peel the right peat. Benny, did you get downstairs and heat up the pie? The money was easy for anyone with a steady hand and a brain in his head. We're surrounded. Let's get the hell out of here. Then there was Tony Pino. Any Chianti? No, I don't keep that cheap stuff in the house. Why then? Forget it. I'm better off without it. The building is asleep, and all that money is in here, and he's being held prisoner. And it's screaming at me through the walls. It's yelling, hey, Tony, come in and grab me. Get me out of here. <laughs> the Brinks job. A crime so insane. Nobody in their right mind would go in on it. And nobody in their right mind did. I was in the joint. They got cheap locks and 75 watt bulbs. What if they got radar? What's radar? Peter Falk is Tony Pino. What about the letter? A small time booster with plenty of talent and no luck. Alan Gorwitz is his brother in law, Vinny. Jerry Murphy is Sandy. Paul Savino is Jazz, the bookie. Warren Oates is Specky O'Keefe. Kevin O'Connor is Gus, the lookout. And Peter Boyle is Joe, the exchange man. Frankly, no one thinks you'll pull it off. Who's no one? Everyone. How they plan Brinks is the funny part. You want to fire a cannon off the roof of that building? What happens next? We're on. Is the scary part. What the hell's the matter? This is a serious miscalculation. But just getting to know them is the best part. Oh. Error by error, blunder by blunder, they showed the world just how far a nobody could go. Isn't it a great country? Aren't you glad your father caught the boat? The Brinks job. The American dream come true. Get these reporters away from that money. Oh, get the cops away from the joke.